Hey guys, today I want to talk about something that has been bothering me actually for a quite long time now. Ferrets, people know about ferrets and there are more and more questions about their and their smell. So what do you think an animal of two kilos can smell bad? I mean it can smell bad but if you can handle a dog which has 10, 20, 30 or more kilos and it doesn't smell to you then you can handle ferret because yes ferrets are smelly creatures and you you can sense them when they are around you but you can sense a dog also so what is my point my point is that uh, that is a misconception ferrets do smell but they don't smell bad you can smell them but it's not like you can't live around them for example i have I have a dog and I have two ferrets. Dog is a puppy, a Westie. It has five, six kilos. And I have two ferrets. Dog smells worse than two ferrets. Now you enter my room and you won't smell a thing. You won't even know that I have ferrets. Ferrets aren't smelly creatures. The problem is when people say smelly creatures, uh, most of them think that ferrets smell bad and that is why they are smelly creatures. No, they are smelly creatures because they have a one a distinctive smell. They have a musky odor when they are older. Great thing is when they are small, their smell is unique to every ferret. For example, when I got Frida, she smelled like honey. When Yoda came, he smelled like popcorns. So when they are small, they smell one thing or another, but they get when they get older, they have this musky odor, which isn't bad at all. I actually love their smell. People think that ferrets are smelly because they can occasionally let some smelly bombs. That is, yes, like skunk bombs, but their smelly bombs are a light version of skunk bombs. Those smell bombs aren't that bad. I mean, you can smell them, I won't lie. But they they disappear in about two minutes, three tops. Frida has had smell bombs for five times. She's almost five years old. And now I can really say that it's about once a year she releases that smell bomb. Yoda, on the other hand, only released that smell bomb when Frida and he introduced. Those bombs are natural defense mechanism for ferrets and they use it when they are in danger. Since ferrets are pets, they are not wild animals, they are domesticated, they don't have the need to release that smell. And that is why your ferret, if he releases that smell, it will be maybe once a year. If you are feeding your ferret correctly and if he is uh, inside, his smell will be minimized. If you, if you want to reduce your ferret smell, there are few things which are invasive or not invasive. First we will talk about those invasive things and then we will talk about what you can do uh, at home for him. When you have to take your ferret to the vet, that is invasive because you are messing with his body. First thing you can do to your ferret is to neuter or spay him. Neutering or spaying ferrets is a great thing. If you have a female ferret, you have to neuter it because when a female ferret is in heat, if she doesn't mate, she will be in heat continuously and she can develop some problems with hormones, with blood, she can be anemic and she can suffer, even die. When you spay or neuter your ferret, his smell will reduce because their smell is mostly connected to their home hormones. So when they are in heat, they can produce more smell. 
Another invasive thing you can do to your parrot, I don't approve that, and that is the scenting. I really don't see the point of the scenting ferret because you won't achieve anything regarding the smell. The scenting ferret means that your uh, ferret will go to the operation to remove anal sex. The scenting won't change your ferret's smell, his body smell. It will only change those smell bombs that he can sometimes release. So those two things are invasive. Things you can do in your home to reduce their smell are far better because you can do that no matter what. First thing you have to do is to improve your ferret's diet. If you are feeding your ferret with kibble, the best thing to reduce his smell is to switch to raw meat. <laughs> when your ferret eats kibble, he has to eat a lot and when he eats a lot he has to poop a lot when your ferret is on kibble he will eat about five to six times a day when your ferret is on raw meat he will eat two times a day which means about three times less poop to clean why your ferret has to eat so much when he's uh, eating kibble because kibble doesn't have many nutrients by that, uh, he needs to eat more to receive all nutrients and he has to eat uh, more often. But when your ferret eats raw meat or whole prey, he eats and he uh, uses almost every nutrient he can have from meat. That's why your ferret's poop will be small after raw meat and big after kibble. So that is step number one you can do to reduce his smell and to improve his health overall. Another thing you can do is to clean your ferret. Clean his uh, ears and take a bath. But remember, taking a bath for a ferret means to bathe, bathe him with the shampoo about three times a year. And if you bathe them too often, about once a month or more often, you will irritate they, their skin and you will remove oil he has on his skin and due to that his body will produce more oil which will produce more smell. So by cleaning him too often you can actually make it worse. Since our ferrets are big sleepers and they love to sleep in cages in hammocks, most of the smell you feel in the air are from hammocks. When they are sleeping they, are, they get all snuggly and they release their smell on the hammocks. That is why you have to clean your ferret's cage every week. Once a week grab cage and clean it from top to bottom. Everything. So everything must go out clean and put it back in. That is actually the most important part of reducing your ferret smell, to clean his cage. Because uh, all that you can smell in your room is not your ferret, it's his hammocks. Clean your ferret's cage once a week and clean a litter box once a day. So it's not the importance to keep your ferret clean. It's more important to keep your surrounding of your ferret clean. Thanks for watching our little smelly episode. I hope you've learned something and like, comment and subscribe. See you next time. Bye!